This is the fourth in a series documenting the do-it-yourself construction of a ground-mounted 17.4 kilowatt electric solar array. This video shows the precise placement of vertical support pipes and concrete footers. All of this happens in accordance with a plan that was developed prior to construction. The details of that plan and a methodology for creating your own plan are shown in part five of this series. More than 180 pound bags of concrete were used to make 14 cylindrical footers for this project. If you think you can mix all of that by hand, I'm sure you can. But do yourself a favor and acquire a cement mixer for this task. Also, the need to work with relatively small amounts of concrete over the period of a full day makes concrete delivery by truck infeasible. An inexpensive mixer that I purchased for this project undoubtedly saved me several days of time and labor. Okay, there's our cement making operation. And we're chewing through the bags of cement. And we have started planting poles. And it is working. So this is the rod which marks one of the grid lines and that has two uh, nylon survey strings connected to it and then I put a little two inch coupler right there to separate the two strings out and then that goes up and then that gives me the line up in this left right direction when we get ready to do it. And then across on the other side is, is another coupler and the peg that's uh, in place over there. Now, a couple of days ago, the very first thing we had to do is get all these pegs lined up just perfect. And that was a long, tedious job, but very important, and it's paying off for us right now. So there's the pole in the uh, cement footer, and you can see the uh, nylon line that we've been using to line the poles up in this one direction. And then coming across in the other direction, we have these two lines and we set it right, right between those two. Um, I actually have little spacers. So when we're at, when we were actually doing it, they were like this. And then we would put center of the pole right, right between those two lines. And uh, that's how we would get that set up. And then for the height, we have the vertical line coming across there. And we're trying to bring it up so that it's just at the line, but not touching it because we don't want the pole to deflect the line. So we've been coming up just to about a millimeter short of it uh, the, whole, the whole way. And there's the, the rest of them. Each in there footer. And here's the last one of the tall holes that we have to do. So there's all the completed six tall poles and then one more to go and then we'll be done with the tall poles. Here's a little clamp on level, so that gives us a bubble and two coordinates, so that lets, keeps us straight. And we'll line that up on the strings and then uh, throw in some concrete, a very stiff mixture of concrete. And then with it being very stiff, um, we can pull the pole up and then set it down on it at the right spot so it'll come right up. and. Uh, just short of that line. So if it's a little too wet, it has a tendency to sag down in it, but if it's stiff, it'll um, hold it up. And then we get it straight and at the right height. And then we shovel in little bits and uh, of concrete and bring the level up. And then once we get up to about a foot or two uh, of, of that, we're, we're not worried about it settling in because there's enough pressure down on it. And then for the second half of the hole, we use kind of a more normal mix.
All right, so we're going to put the uh, Iron Ridge top caps on. We put this over the uh, top, and that sits down there like that. Here's the two set screws on the side that we'll be adjusting. Okay, so this is the new uh, set screw that Iron Ridge is using. Uh, it's got nice long deep threads, so you'll have no problem running out of thread. And then it's got this uh, hard tip on the end. Um, and that will actually penetrate into your iron pipe. So very important is before you snug down those uh, set screws, you definitely want to make sure you've got a good alignment because when you start to snug those down, those set screws are going to bite into the pipe substantially. And then if you want to change uh, the alignment after that, that's going to be difficult because it's already going to have made divots um, into it. So we're going to get our alignment really good. So we'll make sure that's perfectly aligned and snug them up lightly. Okay, so that's starting to get good and firm. Okay, so I've got a, um, this is a click type torque wrench. The instructions say to start with the bottom set screw and tighten it up to about 27 Newton meters, which would be about 20 foot pounds. So this is a click type torque wrench here that we're using. So I'll just turn this and we'll listen to it before the click. Come in close so you can hear it. There you go, right there. And then we go to the top one. The instructions said to do the bottom one first. Then we do the top one until we get a click. And then you go back and forth. Now that the top one's tight, the bottom one's going to need a little more tightening. And you go back and forth until it doesn't tighten anymore with the clicks. So that's about it. Now what I want to do is take this off now and just show you what it did to the pipe on the inside just so you understand how these set screws are actually working and uh, interfacing with the pipe here. So there you go and if you come in right here you can see those two divots that these set screws made into the pipe. So they're actually jamming down into the pipe pretty good, a nice substantial depth. Um, so that's probably a good thing because that means that these are definitely not coming off in the wind, I don't think. There's the top cap on the taller of the pipes and we'll tighten up this one. Right there and then we go to the top one. right there. I think that's about it.
Part of it. One last turn, okay? Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, I think that's about it. Good to go.